Hello everyone. So in this video, <clears throat> I don't really want to share anything uh, useful for you. In fact, this video is basically for uh, you guys who use uh, Linux to basically share your ideas for me when it comes to audio, Pulse Audio. Now, I have been using Linux for uh, more than 20 years. It has been more than 20 years and it has been a long time to be honest. But for some strange reason, I have never really understood or tried to understand uh, audio. And there are so many things when it, when it comes to audio. I, I guess it is in a way, I have some kind of a fear when it comes to understanding how it works. And uh, I never really bother to do too much of a deep dive because uh, it has always worked for, to, to be honest, for me. I never really had any major issues with uh, with audio on Linux. I mean, I know 15 years ago, 20 years ago, it used to be uh, not that straightforward. We used to compile applications from source and fixing things was uh, definitely much more painful. Now, definitely life is much more easy and uh, simplified. But Lately, I have been facing issues with uh, Pulse Audio and the issue is something that I, for some reason, I have no, I've not been able to fix it. Usually I'm good and very, I'm, I'm quite good and I think uh, I'm fine when it comes to troubleshooting and pinpointing the problem. But when it comes to Pulse Audio, maybe I'm a bit uh, cautious and I haven't really done uh, like a proper deep dive. But I just want to share that uh, I do have some issues with Pulse Audio. Now, on my ThinkPad T14, which I started using sometime in December, and I also use a ThinkPad uh, Gen 2 USB dock. So everything is, is connected to my USB dock. And it appears, uh, I mean, the deck, no, not deck, but dock also has its own output. So it appears as a sound card, I guess. Uh, when I when I look at my list of sound cards, and I do have like a lot of audio devices. So I have this mic, I have my laptop's internal mic, I have uh, my Jabra mic. I also have the uh, I mean multiple output. Of course, my this is also uh, an, an output. Of course, you know it, it's weird. How can mic be an output? But yeah, it is also an output. My Jabra mic uh, headset is also an output. My Logitech is also an output, uh, and no, not really the output, but the mic itself. But so basically, what I'm trying to say is that I have like multiple input and output audio devices. But uh, 99, 90 percent of the times it works. But sometimes when I start my computer, it only happens when I start my computer. Sometimes the pulse audio won't respond. So if I try to play, so nothing works. None of the audio works, and uh, especially the output. The, the the sound that I want to play. If I if I use uh, Ulsa mixer, I'm not really able to change the volume up and down. I mean, when I press the up key, it takes like 20 seconds or half or maybe a minute to 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 go up. And uh, I am also not able to shut down the computer. Like it, it takes ages. It fine. It it does shut down, but uh, it's it, there is like it it stuck some there is some something something causing issue with the uh, pulse audio because it says the pulse audio and uh, I, I've tried uh, you know a few things none of that worked so far for example I've tried to remove the pulse directory so usually in your config there is uh, a directory called uh, pulse which you can delete and when you delete it you have to basically configure the mic or output again using POV controller which uh, I believe PAVU control, which I've shown you before, but you can also kill pulse audio and start it again. I have also tried it. It didn't work. The only thing that worked for me is uh, when I delete the pulse directory from config and I ha like physically stop my computer uh, by pressing the power button for like 10 seconds. Then it works. I'm not. Really, I'm not really sure if it is just random, but usually it works. Uh, no, it works usually. 
99% of the times it is not a ma- major problem to be honest but it is annoying and I don't, I don't really like wasting time like doing it when I, when I want to start my computer I want everything to work so this is something that I have tried uh, to fix without any success so far if you look at this page on Arch Linux Pulse Audio troubleshooting so it has a lot of information and uh, you you can I mean if you have I mean if you have similar issues uh, then you can refer to this page and in, in, in most cases it will work. If you have no idea audio at all after like a fresh install of your op- operating system, then in most cases it should be okay. You should be able to figure out. But if you have a problem like this where it is random, then it is again a, a bit painful to first figure out what is the problem and then fix it. On this particular uh, page, there are like common problems and they also talk about uh, you know killing pulse audio and starting it again and uh, there are some uh, problems with some stutter in output so you can refer to this to, to this page to figure out for me i'm still trying to figure out and uh, i might try something else uh, in future but for the time being i'm still using pulse audio and uh, uh, i'm of course not massively happy about it because it, it's a bit weird feeling it, it is a bit frustrating when you're not really really able to pinpoint the problem uh, forget about uh, solving it <laughs> so this is something that i am trying to you know figure out if you have a similar problem where uh, i think i explained you might not i mean w- what happens is for me a couple of things happen like they're always there like symptoms i'm not able to play any youtube video i'm not able to change the volume up and down using alpha mixer I'm not, I'm not really able to play any audio at all uh, using any command like ut- line utility or uh, mpd for example i'm not able to shut down because it says you know something is blocking uh, because of pulse audio and uh, there is also one more error so you can actually change the verbosity of your uh, pulse audio so if you start pulse audio you can actually pass in hyphen v to take a look at the error it will it will give you much more uh, information so basically if you look at this uh, uh, so basically i, I sometimes get this uh, so when i st- when i st- try to start uh, pulse audio i usually get uh, this uh, like when i look at the log it says uh, daemon startup uh, oh, no not daemon startup but like pid already there something like that and i'm not really sure why because i don't really have i just have one uh, pulse audio running i tried looking at it so this is something that uh, happens to me like the symptoms and uh, i've tried everything on the page none of it worked so far and i'm still trying to figure it out but if you have similar problems with pulse audio let me know or help me i'll try to i'll try that again or i'll try your suggestion as well all right that is it i know not really a useful video but maybe it, it helped you because I'm trying, maybe you have different symptoms and this page might work. All right, that is it for today. Bye-bye.